It's Friday, June 10th, 2016, and we've been hanging out at Lenovo Tech World this week, and there was a lot of cool new stuff to see. There was also a bit of controversy. First, the techie goodness. Lenovo, who bought Motorola's cell phone business from Google, unveiled two new flagship phones, the Moto Z and the Moto Z Force. Both feature top-tier tech, including high-res cameras, 5.5-inch AMOLED screens, 4 gigs of RAM, and 32 or 64 gigs of storage. The Moto Z Force adds in an even better camera, more battery capacity, and a shatterproof display. The key feature for both phones, though, are the Moto Mods. These add-on modules utilize that external patch of contacts we spied early on, and you can get a JBL-based audio boost pack, a mini Pico-type projector, both of which feature additional battery power, and a pure battery booster pack. Plus, there's a dev kit, so more Moto Mods are on the way. But here's the bad news. In the US market, the phones are only going to work on Verizon's network. That's it. And really, that's BS. It's not the first time a phone has been restricted to a carrier, but really, Motorola, that's how you come back? These phones are too cool to have access restricted by carrier, so we hope you'll join us in telling Motorola to free the Moto Z. Hit the link below for more details on the new phones. Another cool phone to pop up at Lenovo Tech World was the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. What, no turbo? Anyway, the gigantic for a phone Fab 2 Pro runs Google's Tango system, which includes some pretty robust augmented reality features. It can 3D map enclosed spaces and then let you virtually add furniture, play games, and more. But you better have deep pockets, literally, as the phone has a seven inch screen, putting it firmly in the phablet territory. Fortunately, the Fab 2 Pro will be sold unlocked for $500 beginning this September. The Tango AR system is in the final stages of development, but after getting a first look, we gotta say, this is going to be one fun, albeit large, megaphone. As you know, Google has been rolling out super fast gigabit internet service in several cities through their Google Fiber program, but running all that cable is expensive and time consuming. Solution, gigabit Wi-Fi. According to the Wall Street Journal, Google chairman Eric Schmidt says improvements in wireless tech have now made it possible to push gigabit speeds through the air, and they're building out a wireless test network in KC, the same city that was the first in line to get Google Fiber a few years back. A gigabit speed Wi-Fi network potentially solves a lot of bottlenecks, especially when it comes to video streaming. You might have to have some sort of special super Wi-Fi receiver in or on your home, but that means we can stream Game of Thrones without it stopping to buffer. Well, hey, we can live with that. Get more details on all these stories at digitaltrends.com and be sure to check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. We'll be back again next week. Have a great weekend.